Hey guys, today I'm doing a updated recording video review thing <laughs> of the Art and Fly markers. Uh, since I did my review earlier this year, there we go, um, they have come out with brush nibs. So they have the chisel nib and the brush nib. And yeah, I ended up going ahead and getting the 48 set because I, yeah really like these. And that's the classic. You can see it's the chisel nib and the bullet nib there instead of the brush nib. But uh, let's have a look here. This is the uh, color key that they provide versus the color key that I made, <laughs> which uh, will be more accurate anyway since it's on paper and not laminated and everything. So, but yeah. So let's open this up and check out what they look like inside. So there we go. There's all 48 markers. Now, I've reorganized these since I got them. I got them and they were all not ordered in a coherent way. And so I've ordered them in a way that I at least know from Blender up to the browns. Yeah. Or up to the reds, cause I kind of go a zigzag back and forth method instead of just like uh, right to left and or left to right, so. Yeah, I've also already used these at the time I recorded this, and so that's why I'm turning these around so you can actually see all the numbers and stuff. Yep. <laughs> um, the video of me coloring with them is just uh, like I did them. I did the before I recorded this part of it. So yeah. So yeah, that was the markers, and then these are the color keys. I did um, I did a color key for my new set, which is the brush tip on the one side and then the bullet tip on the other. And along with that, I compared the numbers and whatnot to uh, what I got in both. And so these were the duplicates I got. And you can see that the colors kind of differ. <laughs> the uh, new grays are a little bit more saturated. Um, but the regular colors, it kind of goes back and forth if they're brighter or lighter. So that means it's really like two colors, I guess. I don't mind it, but I know there's going to be people that do mind it. So I just wanted to note that. <laughs> um, but that means like for me, that means I have that many more colors. And so I have a nice range of colors with the with having both sets now. and. Again, the art fly markers are way cheaper than uh, Copic, so that was one of the reasons I wanted to give the brush nibs a try. Um, the other thing I have to say is about the actual box. Uh, I do like the box a lot better than the little plastic bag. I'm probably going to go ahead and try and get a case or something that will fit them, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll just get like a bin or something. Okay, so here's me coloring it. Um, the skin tones are the only things that I use that aren't the brush nibs because I don't have skin tones in the brush nibs yet. And probably we won't. I'll just keep the chisel tips for the bullet tips for this. Um, but after I get the skin colored, everything else is done with the brush pen, the, the brush nibs. So yeah. And I have to say, like, I know... Um, I did sing high praises for it before and I will continue to because honestly like for how much these cost they are comparable to Copics to me. Um, I think the only issue that I have still so far is like the color chart like <laughs> I would like for the numbers to make more sense and I would like for the markers to be the same colors when they're listed as the same colors. But the actual use of the marker, like, I think is comparable to Copic. If people are interested, maybe I'll do a Copic versus Art and Fly markers, because these are the markers that I liked. I know a lot of people like Ahu markers, but I haven't really tried them because I don't like bullet nibs. <laughs> I really do prefer uh, brush nibs for my, co like, for my markers and everything. And that was why I went back to these, and now I will probably do more things with my art and fly markers now because of this, even if it's just like my sketchbook colors and stuff. I really like this idea. And again, like these are cheaper than Copics and 
uh, Art and Fly has replaceable nibs and refillable ink, so you can actually do all that. So it's like the same kind of base thing as Copic. So <laughs> yeah, and um, also one of the things I wanted to mention is a lot of these markers don't have like differentiations like for how to tell like if one end is brush nib or chisel nib or whatever besides just like the side of the thing but they do on this one and it is let me see if I can find where I put those I can't find where I put my markers but there's like a little gap by the cap it's not a gap but it's just like a thing there but uh these markers do go through the paper and so I have my little uh pencil board that I made it's just a piece of cardstock that I've laminated and made nice and stiff so it doesn't like it will keep the colors from going on to the next page. But yeah, all in all, I really like these markers and I will probably continue to use them again, like I said, for my sketchbook at least, if not for commissions when I need them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is actually also a bonus video for this week. Second video on a Friday. Woo! I hope you guys have a great holiday season and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!